In this video, we're going to change gears a little bit, and we're going to talk about how to use math in your ActionScript code. So math represents anything you do in terms of addition, subtraction, or other operators that you might have used in the past. But we're going to introduce one that might be new to you as well. So in this case, in my application here, I have some trace statements that are using five of the more common math operators that you can use in ActionScript. So let me run this to show what, every, what all these are doing. So let's take a look at the first one. The first one is addition. You use the plus symbol. Pretty basic. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. The second one, also pretty simple, is subtraction, where you use the minus symbol. 3 minus 2 is 1. The next three are probably familiar to you in terms of concept, but the symbols might be a little odd. The third one here, 2 asterisk 3. This is multiplication. Instead of using an x or a dot, which you sometimes see in algebra, you use the asterisk symbol to represent multiplication. So in this case, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. The fourth example here is division. And unlike the division symbol, which has the two dots with the line in between, in this case, we're going to be using a forward slash. Sometimes people forget and use the backward slash, which isn't correct. So make sure you use the forward slash when you're doing division. So in this case, 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2.5. You'll notice that it does give you a decimal answer, so it gives you a precise division result when you use the division operator. The fifth one is new. It's called the modulo operator. If you remember back in, in you know, if you remember back in third grade or fourth grade, you might have had long division. When you're doing long division, you always had a remainder at the end. What the modulo operator does is it gives you that, rem that remainder value. So in this case, I'm going to repeat the 5 divided by 2 example, but use the modulo operator instead. 5, 5 divided by 2 does not divide evenly. You're going to have a remainder. In this case, 5 modulo 2 is going to give the remainder of 1, because that's the remainder after you do the division. If I change this, and let's say I do 6 modulo 2, you'll notice I get a 0. That's because 2 divides into 6 evenly, and I don't get, this, I don't get a, a, a remainder in this case. Some use of the modulo operator is to find out if a number is odd or even. So for example, if I have 3 modulo 2, I'll have a 1, which represents as that it's an odd number. If I get a 0, I know that it's even. That's one of the common uses of using the modulo operator. So these are the five basic math operators. If you remember, we had the assignment operator, which was the equal sign, where we take a value and then we assign it to a named, var named variable or a named object. We can combine math operators with assignment operators as a shortcut. This second example demonstrates this. So let me run this to show you what happens. In the first one, we have a variable called myValue. MyValue is going to be equal to a number, which is the value 2. I have an equation here, which is take my value, which is 2, and then add 2 to it, and then reassign that value back to my value. So what happens is we have my value 2 plus 2 equals 4. We then take 4 and then we assign that to my value. This is the longhand way of doing this. In the second example, I use the combined assignment and math operators, which you can see here is a plus equal. So now this is doing the same exact thing as the one above it, instead of, of doing it the long version of doing my other value equals my other value plus 2. I can condense the code a little bit and use plus equals. All the basic math operators that I showed you before, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo, I can, be, I can use these combined, uh, these combined assignment operators with. So for example, my other value here, plus equals 2, that gave me 4. If I can change this to minus equals 2, which if I run this, gives me 0. So I can combine any of the basic math operators together with assignment in this way. There's one other one that I want to go over. It's called it's called increment and decrement uh, <coughs> uh, operators. Let me run this to show you what happens. As you can see, the variable my value is set to the number 5. I then output that to the console, which in this case is the first number 5. You notice on line 5, I have my value plus plus. What this is doing, it's taking the my value, vari var uh, my value variable and it's adding 1 to it. Increment only adds 1. It can't add any other value to it. So in this case, 5 is incremented 1 to 6. And I can then output that, as I do here, 
So on the ALPO console, that's why line 2 says the number 6. Decrement does the opposite. Instead of adding 1, it takes 1 away. That's represented by a double minus sign after the, after the variable. So what's happening here is my value is now 6. I then take 1 away, so now I have 5 again, and I output that here. One thing that people uh, sometimes mix up is when they use the increment or decrement operators, they inadvertently add a space. You can't add a space because when you do that, you're going to you're going to actually generate you're going to actually generate some errors. So you have to make sure that you always make sure that it does not have a space after it. So those are the basic math operators in Flash. So anytime you want to do math, any of the basic math operations you can use with this. You can also combine with assignment operators, and if you're doing just add one or minus one, you can use increment or decrement. In the, next, in the next tutorial, we're going to talk about order of operations, which shows how exactly Flash calculates math in a specific order.